Okay, here's a lesson where I'm going to show you how to use a clipping mask in Illustrator to create a shade. And by shade, I'm referring to the sliver of dark area on the sphere. Okay, please don't get shade confused with shadow. Shadows are casted onto a surface like the ground or a wall, but shade usually refers to uh, the darker area on, on this ball. Okay. Here's a big blob shape and I'll be using a clipping mask to crop it so that it's only gonna show a little sliver along this, the edge of the ball. But before I crop it with a clipping mask, I wanna make sure I feather it. So look at how I select this big blob. It's the path here that's dark blue. And I'll go to the effect menu underneath stylize and choose feather. Okay, I'm gonna feather it about 1.3 inches. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now to activate a clipping mask, you have to make sure that the shape that you're using as the cookie cutter is above what you're trying to crop. So I duplicated my circle and I've got a clipping mask right above this big blob shape that's feathered. And I select both and then go to the object menu underneath the clipping mask submenu. I'll choose make. In the future, you could just hit command seven. All right, now that big blob shape has been cropped with that circle and now all that's left is just this little sliver. Okay, that's the shading. Got another exercise here where I will use a clipping mask again to create some shading. However, instead of using the feathering, instead of going to effect stylize feather, what I'll be doing is using a gradient tool to get the, the shading that I want. Okay, so let's take a look here. This big blob shape that I want to create the shading with actually has a gradient on it, and the gradient's going from pink to white. I want you guys to know that you can change up some options on this gradient to make it look better. Specifically, what I could do is I could change, instead of going from pink to white, I'm going to change this white color to zero opacity. Now it's going to go from pink to transparent. That's really powerful, especially if I switch to a radial gradient. You can clearly see that the center of this gradient is transparent, but the edges are going to be opaque. It's going to be pink and opaque. I'm going to hit the letter G now, and I can see my gradient tool. And I'm going to adjust the angle here a little bit. I'm going to adjust the position. And there's controls on this bar. I can change where the transparency starts. See how there's a, trans there's a slider there? And I'm going to drag this pink slider so that it's going to be opaque. Um, let's adjust this a little bit here. Okay, I'm going for, I want like more opaque pink. Okay, I got some opaque pink here. And then it's going to be transparent. Starting about right there. Okay. Now I'm going to apply this clipping mask, which I already made. I'm going to drag this yellow circle to the top. It's really just a duplicate of the original yellow circle. I'm selecting the clipping mask and then that shape that I want to crop underneath object, go to clipping mask and choose make. <clears throat> You'll notice that this shading doesn't look that great because I can still see the harsh edge of where it got, uh, of that shape that I made. I can see that harsh edge. Well, I want to show you that you can actually go back after the clipping mask and make adjustments to the gradient. Okay, look, I can just pull this transparent position and bring it a little closer in. Whoops, hit undo there. Okay, and that looks better, but I can still see a little bit of a harsh edge there. However, everything else looks good, so I don't really want to mess with the rest of it, but how do I fix that harsh edge? Well, you can even feather this shape after it's been clipped. Okay, this is really powerful. This shape has a gradient, has a radial gradient going from a color to a transparency. It's been cropped with a clipping mask, and on top of all that, you can still go to stylize, feather, and maybe only feather it by like one inch. Okay, look, it's been feathered and now that harsh edge is gone. Really powerful tool, combination of tools here.